Good morning, traders. It's Chris from the DAXtrader.co.uk, and it's the 7th of August. The trading disclaimer applies before you watch this video. Please read that. Make sure you accept it. And if you want to get hold of me, you can do so through one of these uh, links up here, one of these uh, options. So your website, thedaxtrader.co.uk, email info at daxtrader.co.uk. You can get me on Telegram or, or Twitter using those two handles. So reach out if you need any information. Okay, so we're looking at the majors at the moment. This is a 60 minute chart. The black markers are marking out the pivots. And yesterday we had uh, an attempt at trying to test this lower area down here and we actually turned around at that specific spot. So I'm just gonna mark that one out because a lot of people were asking, well, why did it turn around there? Uh, maybe you could have pointed to this area over here. But really the reason for this was because it was a point of control and we'll show that in a moment. Now this area was interesting because we broke through this multi-pivot line that was forming here and washed and rinsed it. So there were possibly some stop losses above here where a lot of people were looking to short and put their stop loss above the previous highs. They got taken out and then price continued. What I found significant was that when we came back to here, we failed to take out this low that was here. And as a result, now we're asking the questions of this high once more. So I would like to see that high go, but the uh, market doesn't really care what I want. Never really has. So, uh, But that's what I'd like to see. So really overall, we're still bullish above 455 and we need to go on, make some progress to take out this 879 level in order for this overall bearish, uh, sorry, bullish trend to continue. If we zoom in on those swings, we can see them a little bit clearer now. And... Um, this particular area is interesting because we were forming a series of higher highs, higher lows. We then created this lower low here, and it was in roughly that sort of previous swap zone from that trend back here. And uh, we baited that, formed this little area inside this gap, was slapped back down, price rejected higher levels up here, the market rejected higher prices up here. And then we managed to form the base of the mountain here, which was a nice little entry for anybody who managed to take long from there. But for now, all eyes are on this little area to see whether we can break out through that zone. Okay, the profile for yesterday was this. And you'll notice that the value area formed in the bottom half of that profile. We already broken above the value area high and we did it within the first hour of trading. So that can often be a sign of intent. Towards the second half of the session, if you're trading inside a value area, it's a little bit more difficult to break out of it. But in the morning, um, it's pretty. It's, a, it's often a nice sign of intent for the rest of the day. The point of control for yesterday was down here at 578, and we have not touched that uh, on the way to current price action. So that might well be an exposed puck that will be left open if price continues and then manages to break above the high of yesterday. A couple of other levels to just mark out here. We've got the IB high and the IB low. They're the black levels there. And uh, I'll post them up on the uh, article but there are the other levels as well. Pause the video if you can see those. Okay, as far as strategies are concerned, uh, I'm just gonna remove the bands on this one. Also don't even really need the trade chart, but this is one of the strategies that we have. This is the BBRSI strategy. Offered a couple of uh, signals yesterday. There was a sell there, buy here and a sell there. Would have worked out quite nicely if you want access to this strategy it's all in the forum and um, so you can just go and download this chart book and it has it automatically pre-configured in there uh, or you can get the uh, meta trader uh, version of that indicator as well this particular example about 75 points there 130 odd points there and 140 points on this particular one so uh, i don't know what kind of trader you are but if you're only looking for 20 30 40 50 points in a day then this any one of those three would have been able to provide that for you. So if you want access to that, uh, it does use a lot of different indicators, but um, it's automatically pre-configured into Sierra charts so you can get the chart book in the members section. All right, so that was that one. Uh, we also had, uh, I'll ignore that one for the moment. Uh, we also had the volume scanner provided a couple of interesting opportunities yesterday as well. <coughs> Excuse me. 
and uh, any one of those arrows would have been an interesting opportunity to get in on a long or a short. And again, if you want access to that, then that's all um, part of the member section as well. It's on the forum. You can get the volume scanner as part of the chart book. And it's again, just has a look at the bid ask imbalance and then alerts us to when fast moves are happening. The data comes from Eurex. On the TPOs, the exposed pox at the moment were yesterday's at 582. And then we've got 732, 448. These are the two that are most likely going to attract price. I'd like to see 732 get taken out first and um, continue to make some progress on that bullish trend that we are in at the moment. And the last one that we had, um, I believe I showed you the wrong chart just a moment ago. It was This one was the volume scanner. And uh, all the different arrows are different combinations of uh, studies which we can add together in order to compare the bid ask imbalances to find out opportunities where some large trades have gone in or there's some sort of momentum happening in the market and we can get into that early. There are occasionally some signals that would have given us some false reads, but that's normal with any strategy. But there are also plenty that would have given us good opportunities as well. So as a summary really at the moment for the DAX, uh, it's very much business as usual. We're still bullish, still bullish about 455. A lot of people are thinking it's crazy to still be long. But um, until the, the, the facts are broken, until the trend defining levels are taken out, uh, you can continue to follow the trend. Trend is there until it ends. So we're looking for this area to be broken and then some progress to be made up towards this major swing high. Um, if it does manage to turn around, this could well be an area that it will happen. So keep an eye out for that. If you want any more information, give us a call or on any of these, uh, any of these services here, and I'll be happy to, uh, to have a chat with you. Hope you have a great trading day. Be back again tomorrow and, uh, take care. Actually, it's probably worth me saying I'm not going to be back tomorrow because it's my birthday tomorrow. So there's a, a quick edit to the end of the video. Um, it's my birthday tomorrow. I'm not going to be around. I'll be back probably on Thursday. So until then, take care.